Hi, this is Jesse Allen with Career Services, and we're bringing you another installation of the Discover Your Path interviews. And today I'm with Brendan Samford, and he's a CWU graduate who studied public relations, graduated in 2005, and now works at WE Communications as a senior senior vice president. So welcome, Brendan. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so let's just get right into the questions. Um, yeah. How did you get the job that you have now as senior vice president? Yeah, so um, out of college or during college, you know, I did um, several internships um, and those really helped me get my first job out of college, which led to my current agency. Um, and from there, uh, so I've been in my current agency for 11 or 12 years. So I've just been sort of steadily climbing the ladder in my time here. Um, it's a great company to work for and I've really enjoyed every minute. Um, but that's, you know, that, that is the, the, the short version of how I got to um, my, my current um, position at the agency. So um, I think, you know, early on in my career, the internships were really critical. Um, you know, the public relations field is one that um, can be challenging to break into without any experience. Um, you know, particularly on the agency side, you're working in a client services model, typically. And, you know, that's a model that's kind of dependent on the folks doing the work have some experience. So, you know, any, any internship is, you know, really great experience, no matter how short or long or how great or honestly not great the pay is sometimes. So that's been that's been really key um, in terms of getting my job. And I'll also I'll also just do a shameless plug for um, you know taking advantage of things like your career services um, at at your school um, if they're uh, something you can get into. Um, I had firsthand experience with this, and so I got to see tons of the ins and outs of working on a great resume to get those first internships. That was really key having the interview practice, um, just getting comfortable, honestly. Um, that's a ton of what gets experienced that I think is sometimes not always talked about is it's just the practice, like going to some interviews, talking to people, networking. Um, not everything is a sure thing, but eventually, you know, things pay off. So that, that, is, um, that is how I got to where I am. Does that help? Yeah, yeah. And I was also thinking, you know, the, the specific job title that you have now, did that position just, you know, come available and you had worked with the company and built up a reputation for a while and then applied for that and landed it? Or how did that kind of shake out? Yeah. So uh, at uh, We Communications, I've um, been promoted a, a few times. And so, you know, the big reason that I came to the agency was because I wanted to work on a particular account. Um, it's the Microsoft account. Um, which is a phenomenal business to work on here. And so, you know, I started in a junior role and I continue to gain experience. And as you continue to gain experience, particularly in the um, agency world, um, you know, the, the next step up the ladder is typically dependent on a few years of experience in the last role and, um, you know, taking on bigger accountabilities and responsibilities on whatever business you may be working on. And so that's been, um, that's been a huge factor um, into uh, my growth, um, into my current title. And I also think just, um, you know, in terms of, of how I, I got to current level, you know, there will always be the, you know, apply or get promoted into the opportunity has to present itself sometimes. But I think a, a big part of just career advancement is having honest and meaningful conversations with your managers uh, and the leaders on your business setting goals, demonstrating your growth against them. These are all things that I think um, often get overlooked um, in the day-to-day -day shuffle of any job. Frankly, it's probably not specific to, to PR uh, or agency life, but um, visiting, you know, revisiting your career development, your professional growth, where you want to be in a year or five years, or 10 years. Um, I'm not even sure where I want to be in 10 years, but <laughs> at least a year, I think. Is None of us are. <laughs> a good outlook to put on things. Um, and, and those have all been, you know, critical factors into getting me to where I am. Um, and I think, you know, uh, 
in terms of my current title, you know, another critical factor is this is really where I wanted to be. And um, I, you know, like my focus has always been doing more with my agency and with the business that I support and that I work on. And, you know, with, with that focus and time and role just tends to come more responsibility. So. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. That's some great advice. Um, I think that people would like to know what you actually do in a typical day. Sure. Um, so uh, my typical day or, you know, genuinely in, anyone on my, my team at the agency uh, in terms of PR for a large tech business client is it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading and watching. You know, we are focused in and around news cycles with the majority of our time. You know, a big part of my role on the business that I work on is helping clients land stories, drive news cycles, um, shape and think through what the next major moment might look like for the business or the product. Um, so all of those components are typically factors that shape my day. So, you know, typical morning is a lot of email, a lot of reading. Um, you know, I hit all of the, the top business publications and top tech publications just to find out what's happening any day of the week. Um, if I'm lucky and there's enough minutes, I'll catch a few uh, minutes of CNBC. And, and then I move on, you know, it's like, then it's into the meetings, client or my internal team. Uh, a lot of those meetings may be just the typical rhythm of the business stuff, you know, like what's happening this week and next. What are the immediate deliverables that we are driving? What are the challenges that we're needing to think through? And then there's also the client interaction aspect. And so that may be brainstorming with a client. It may be just sitting down and having planning discussions. Um, and then, um, you know, the, the other area of my day that I spend a lot of time is just sitting down and putting thought into my deliverables. So a huge part of my role is to act as a storyteller on the business that I support. And so by storyteller, I mean, I help shape and go and place stories uh, for the business that I work on within publications. Um, you know, typically that looks like working with a journalist to, to shape and craft a story and also broker information between a given publication and the client that I work with. Um, you know, making interviews happen, helping people be prepared for those interviews fixing things when they don't always go right. Like there's so much that goes into crafting a story. And so that's honestly one of the things that I'm most excited about any day of the week when I get to just sit down and have some genuine focus time on storytelling. Um, sort of a key reason that I got into public relations because I always wanted to do something with storytelling. Um, what that looked like when I was in college you know, it kind of just got led to the, the world of public relations and it felt like a good one and keeps my attention. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's, that's where I spend a, a good chunk of my time. And then also, you know, like as you spend more time in the field, management is also a, a big part of my role. Um, so helping my team work effectively on the business and help you know people advance in their careers. That's also an area where I spend a lot of time, and also is just very rewarding. Like it's a fun thing to help others get further along in their career and to learn and to grow in their current roles. And so, um, you know, that that could be any average day of the week. There's always big projects um, and unique projects along the way. But I think anybody that um, you know, is interested in entering public relations can count on spending a lot of time in the news. A lot of time reading and writing, um, and a lot of time working directly with you know your business counterparts or your client, whether you're in house or at an agency, because um, that's typically where all of your information will come from. So that is that is an average day in my life. Wow, that is so interesting. Okay, I didn't know all of those little things. Um, what would you say are the skills and the strengths that make somebody? successful doing all those things? Sure. Uh, you know, communication skills are key. Um, that, that, that is where all of my 
Um, college education was based, so I actually majored in public relations. Um, spent a ton of time working with the college paper um, at that time. And so being able to write a great story and craft a great story are um, really, really critical um, if you're interested in public relations. Um, you know, as part of that storytelling process, not just to be able to craft a great story, but take in a ton of information and make sense of it and make it um, consumable by others, I think is a, a critical skill and one that I would encourage others to work on. I think some of the best experience that I got in college was writing for the newspaper at Central because uh, it really challenged me to think about how I conduct interviews and find information and write really concisely because at the end of the day, that's what I'm responsible for. You know, I work on a tech business. I often, you know, support product launches that are incredibly complex technologies, things that are hard, you know, to get your head around at first and distill a story around that, that somebody can read in two minutes or less and say, oh yeah, I understand what, what they're doing there. Um, and that's a muscle, you know, and it just takes training. And so I think that's, that's a key skill, critical component, you know, to get the, the proper training to enter the field. Um, project management is probably the other key thing that I'd focus on for anybody entering the field, just because there are so many large announcements and projects that you'll typically work on in public relations. And it's not always just the writing of a document or hosting an interview. It's it's one project that is the sum of all of the parts. And typically, if you're part of an agency team or an in-house team, you're going to be responsible in some way in making all of those pieces work together for the end result, which may be an announcement or maybe an event, whatever it is, making everything work together oftentimes is an accountability of yours. Um, and so I think you know the project management is a skill that is critical to learn early on. Um, admittedly, it took me a few years in role to really kind of get the hang of it and begin to learn and also what to look for from leaders um, that I would, had been working with at the time, just to understand how folks approach some of these really complex projects. Because oftentimes, you know, you might be working on a project that you can't even quite see what the end result is going to be or how all of the pieces work together, but helping others work together and bringing all those components together and planning things against the timeline, all of those things are, are key skills to have in the business. And then I think also just, you know, leadership, personal and team is key. Um, you know, uh, that may come from some business management courses or just working in a field of business, um, you know, as part of an internship or earlier on in your career, um, you know, like it, it oftentimes takes the wrangling and the motivation of many people to collectively tell a story. Um, and without those leadership skills, that can be a really challenging, and frankly, frustrating thing to do. Um, and I think that you know, some of those leadership skills that come in time too, it's not something you just have automatically day one on the job, um, can really make life easier and, and make life a lot more enjoyable on the job. So. Wow, that is a fascinating industry. I love it. Um, so my next question is, can you give people an idea of kind of your progression or trajectory in terms of like actual positions that you had that led you. So like your earlier roles in the industry. Sure. Yeah. I think, um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not something everyone always wants to hear, but uh, experience is experience at the end of the day. And so, you know, a few years of experience is a few years of experience is what I mean by that. So, you know, I, like I said, I did, um, three or four internships, I think, sort of in that last year of college. And then that first sort of summer after graduation, the final internship was the one that got me on to my first agency. And so and were any of those uh, unpaid, just out of curiosity, the, at least one of them was, we could call it unpaid. Yes. Okay. Um, and two of them were like stipend work. So it was, okay. It was enough to put the gas in the car to get to the job. And I think, you know, particularly in 
a communications or public relations field. Um, I'm sure the internships have come uh, a little further down the road since my day, but um, you know, it is not it is not the most attractive economic offer at first, and I think that is important for folks to see and to understand because you know I I, I see this a lot um, in the field that you know like there are certainly great opportunities out there immediately out of college that will pay well but there is also really really phenomenal opportunities that will get experience that lead to even better opportunities and better career growth further down the road it may not look all that great you know with the paycheck at the end of the day um and i think you know if if you can see past that for a brief period of time it pays off in the end um it is hard don't get me wrong <laughs> and i recognize that um but i think you know it's it's important because again without the experience it's hard to enter a field like public relations without the experience in the field it's hard to advance um and you know with progression also comes things like better pay um more responsibility and typically some longer work days but i think that could probably be said true of most any um field <laughs> um, but i think you know yes to answer your question yes there will be unpaid opportunities that may be worth much more than you can see at their face value um, but a couple internships you know i started at the very junior end of the scale at my first agency like i said i started there as an intern and then got hired on um, and, you know, typically two to three years per title. Um, that's not, that's not necessarily always the expectation, but within public relations on an account, if you're doing the direct account facing work, there's typically, you know, a, a good swath of titles that include, you know, um, the, the junior end, you know, people that are just getting their start in the field, the mid range, you know, everywhere from senior account executive to AM account manager to account director. And then the more senior executive end, when you start to get into the more senior account director titles, the vice presidents, the senior vice presidents. Um, and so that's, you know, that's kind of from start to now, that's, that's, that's been my path. Great. Thank you. That gives people an idea of what are some of the job titles involved there. Uh, my last question for you is what advice do you have for students wanting to get into the field of public relations and possibly have a job like yours someday? Yeah, um, I think, uh, well, not, not to harp on this, but go grab an internship. Like the, the experience, the work portfolio that you can show off in your next interview is worth its weight in gold some days. Um, so take advantage of those opportunities, take advantage of the services that you might be getting from your school, um, you know, have others, whether it be an office or a professor, edit your resume, sit down with you, practice um, interviewing. Those are all like critical skills and components that are required just to get into the building sometimes. So take full advantage of that. Um, have a desire to learn, I think, is the other thing, and don't let go of it. Um, you know, I think that every day of my job, I'm, I'm learning something, whether it be from new people in the business or people that I report to um, or my clients, you know, like I think that appetite for knowledge and to try new things is really critical. Be yourself, you know, like that, that is, I think, a key thing too that sometimes gets lost in the shuffle. Um, I think, you know, as I look back over the last decade and a half of my professional career, I think when I started to notice my, um, my career advance the fastest was when I really got comfortable being me in front of the client, integrating sort of my own personality into my storytelling and my work um, and the recommendations that I put forth to clients. When I was most comfortable, that was when I was succeeding most on the business. So I would really encourage folks to just, you know, it can be hard at first. You're trying to be very professional and show up in the right way. And you certainly should, don't get me wrong. 
Uh, but like also make sure that, you know, your own uh, personality, um, whatever it may be, is visible to those around you. I think that's really, really important. Um, and then I think, you know, just set goals for yourself is the last piece that I would encourage folks to think about. It's okay to go to the informational interviews, but share what you want to do. Um, because it may mean something in the interview that you're in at that moment. Somebody may recognize I've got an opportunity for this person, or I know somebody who has an opportunity for this person. And it also demonstrates to those who may be hiring or to your future manager or your manager's manager that like that person knows that they may not know where they want to be in a decade, but at least they would know what they want to do tomorrow. And that can be sort of the building block to you know, whatever you want to figure out the next day. So those would be the things that I would encourage um, folks to do. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Brandon. It was awesome to hear your story and I think it'll be very helpful for people. Sure thing. Thanks for having me.